How's it guys? Mr. Fluffy Pants here. Today, guys, another set got revealed, which is the Back to the Future time machine under the uh, Creator Expert line, which this was rumored back last year, but uh, we thought that rumor turned out to be fake, but here's this set, and I'm just going to say, uh, yeah, this is an uh, instant buy for me. Like, I've, like, I really regret not getting the uh, Kuso one back in the day. And, you know, we, this is still not minifigure scale. I would, like, still get a minifigure scale, maybe under the Speed Champions line. Like, we're kind of getting with Fast and Furious and James Bond. But, um, for this set, though, it's $170 and it releases April 1st, which I think that's a really good price. It's got, like, 1,800 pieces. And they could have easily did $200 for this, but they did not, which I'm so glad. But, um, and also just the build is just looks so immaculate here. Like, the hood and the whole front of the car looks excellent. I love how you can build... Uh, the different versions from the different movies. Like, you got the first one with, like, the uh, hook line at the top. Uh, you So, you can go back to the future. Uh, you got the second one, which, uh, you know, with the hover wheels. And then, like, um, the little uh, white thing, which is, like, the where you put in the waist and whatnot. And they give you, like, a banana in a can to uh, kind of simulate, like, the trash they use to power it. And then you got the Batsy Future 3 one, which, you know, has, like, the hood thing. Which, uh, that's probably my least favorite of 3, just because it's not as, as iconic. Um as the other two, but Back to Future 3 is probably my second favorite behind the first one, uh, movie-wise, at least, but, um, uh, it also looks like the inside is heavily detailed, which I'm so glad, and I think there's also a light-up brick in the, uh, flux capacitor, so that's really cool, um, the doors open, the hood opens, and you can actually store, uh, you get, like, a brick-built hoverboard in this set, which is very cool, uh, also the plutonium case, and, uh, you know, some other things, too, but you can actually store that in the hood, which is very cool, and also the minifigure stand, you know, you get, like, the little, uh, UCS plaque that we're used to getting at this point, but, uh, we actually get minifigures in this set, which are very cool, which makes me think we're probably not gonna get a, uh, minifigure scale one anytime soon, but, uh, you know, people will be complaining years, like, with the James Bond and Ecto-1, like, how come we can't get minifigures? with these uh, big crater sets and uh, here we go we finally get a Back to the Future Part 2 Marty which you know that's probably his m most iconic look I would say um so glad to get that and you also get the Doc Brown which also looks very very nice of uh, the face on Marty I don't really think uh fits that character or whatnot the one they chose but um yeah this set just looks so cool like I cannot wait to get this and add this to my collection it'll especially look good beside the Ecto-1 from Afterlife but um, yeah, and like I said, I do hope they do a minifigure, uh, version soon, because I was thinking about buying the, uh, the Kuso set, but it's like a hundred dollars sealed, and plus, though, the hood of that set, just, the, the blocky hood is just not for me, like, the way they did it here just looks, like, perfect, like, absolutely perfect, but, um, anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about this set down below, because, uh, yeah, I, I absolutely fell in love with this set. This might be one of the best sets of 2022, but uh, check out my Twitter. Link in the description. Like and subscribe for more. Check out some other videos, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.